members of the Nassau County District Attorney's Advisory Council, colleagues, friends, family, and legislators. I'm extremely honored to have been asked to be your MC this afternoon. I had the distinct privilege of starting out my law career many moons ago under the incredible tutelage of Melvin Solis, recently confirmed Associate Judge of the New York State Court of Appeals. under another very special and incredibly gifted attorney who is being sworn in today as the acting district attorney of Nassau County, Joyce Smith. As a young and impressionable attorney, it struck me that Joyce was never put out. Her feathers were never ruffled. There was never any obstacle too difficult to overcome. She handled every court appearance with grace, professionalism, and an intrinsic sense that she was doing the right thing for the right reasons and ensuring that justice was done. She was a patient teacher, an influential role model, and an example of what an attorney should be. Prior to joining this office, Joyce served as a staff attorney and the United States Commission of Civil Rights Office of the General Counsel, the New York City Mayor's Office of Combat Domestic Violence, where she served as Executive Director for the Bronx County Family Justice Center, and then Deputy Chief of Staff for OCDV Headquarters. And before that, the Queens District Attorney's Office, rising to the position of Unit Chief in the Special Prosecutions Division. She's been an adjunct professor for the Maurice A. Dean School of Law, Monroe College School of Criminal Justice, University of Maryland University College, and University of the District of Columbia, and was an assistant professor at Baltimore County Community College School of Justice. Nassau County was fortunate to welcome Joyce in 2018 as Deputy Executive of Community Affairs, where she was charged with overseeing and innovating community-based crime prevention platforms, and working with nonprofit organizations and law enforcement agencies to enhance public safety and improve quality of life for Nassau County residents. Within a year, she was promoted to Executive District Attorney for Community Relations. In that position, Joyce created and managed eight advisory councils, many of the members who are here. <laughs> to support and recognize the important work that she's done as part of this office. She developed the NCDA's Office of Core Services, advanced the Family Justice Center project, strengthened the office's diversity initiatives, and met with a great multitude of community organizations. Now, three years after joining our office and following the confirmation of former District Attorney Madeline Singus of the New York State Court of Appeals, we are here today to administer the oath and swear Joyce in as Nassau County's Acting District Attorney, where she will continue to apply her experience and vision to move this office forward and to continue in our pursuit of justice and in restoring standards of trust and respect in our communities. Now, if you'll please join me and stand for the National Anthem.